Hello my friends, as you can see, I put a real saw blade on a string trimmer. And this is awesome, but before I go ahead and start cutting with it, I wanna show you how I did it. Hello, hello my friends. Today I want to do something really special. So I have here a string trimmer and I have a saw blade. And this is an actual saw blade. And I want to put this saw blade onto here. But to do that, I'm gonna to have to do some things. So I've already gotten some stuff I need, I just kind of want to tell you, I needed it to fit in like the center of the hole. And so what I had to have happen is I got tubing cut really thin. It's actually two pieces so that it can fit inside. And then this, the shaft should come through here, but <clears throat> that's something really cool so that it could fit. But first, let me go ahead and tell you about how to take it off. If you, there should be a spot on your weed eater, go ahead. Just come right here, stick something inside, and it should twist right off. Once that is off, I have this right here. Um, this part right here. So we actually want to put this, we want to leave this on. And I'm going to want to put the saw blade on first. I'm going to have to take off this right here because it seems like it wants to uh, basically be... It will, it will rub. So let me go ahead and take this off and start the camera again. Okay, so I've taken this off and I went ahead and this is off and then I put the bolts back in. I don't want to lose them. Now this is one of the really important parts. Okay, so I might go ahead and put like, I need to see here, but what's really important is this has, this little tiny thing barely fits on this right here. And this has to be inside of here. This goes over the shaft like that, and it has to fit right here. That is how and it has to fit right inside of it, just like that. So <clears throat> I also may put a lock washer on it as well. But let's go ahead and put this on, and I'm kind of experimenting here. Let's go ahead and put this on, and then let's put, um, this on and then let's see if how this works so i want to go ahead and try to put this all now this is a little little tricky because it's such a tight fit it actually you can almost, it can pretty much get threaded on so that's that part now i want to put this part on just like so i want the washer to go on I'm wondering if I have room for the lock washer. Here we go. Let's do this. And then thread this on. Now this should be a really tight fit. It's really important that it be a really tight fit. And I might put something through here too, just to make sure that it doesn't come off. Um, like so. And then to tighten up really tight, I can go ahead and slide that little hole right here. There's that hole underneath. And then take this and tighten it up. Like so. The reason it was really important to put, to have that stuff in the very center of it, and it was actually like longer tubing that was cut is because I don't want there to be anything of it going back and forth, like back and forth. Now, <clears throat> you may look at this, and right off the bat, we should check something out. Does, will the saw blade go in the right direction? Because this is obviously very important. So, <clears throat> the teeth are supposed to spin this way, and it's supposed to spin this way. So, the saw blade was installed correctly but there you go you can see it and i want to go ahead and show you what it looks like um cutting stuff um ow but you can kind of get a close up of it there now let's go ahead and start cutting stuff with it all right it's turned on let's go ahead and start cutting yeah Go ahead and 
I want to go ahead and show you how deep it cut. <clears throat> it cuts so fast. Oh, it's cutting really good. That's five inches right there. Almost four inches right there. So, you can see it cuts very significant. <laughs> So there you go. You got to see it working. Um, I also cut in a Diet Coke and a Coca-Cola bottle. And um, I want to have that in an, um, for another video, though. Um, me cutting it. Maybe like a YouTube Shorts or something. But um, it seems to do better with like a chopping motion than to sit there slowly like cutting it. Like you might with a normal saw. Um, but this was an experiment. I'm probably going to take it off. Let me know what you think, please. Love y'all. You're amazing. Please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, please. Love y'all and bye.